hello good day folks this is Sijesh and this video I will walk you through the upgrading process of HTP from 2.5.3 to 2.6.4 so I'm doing this upgrade process in a lab environment on a single node HTP cluster and if you are doing it in a real-time production environment so read the documentation first and do all the prerequisites and all the necessary steps before doing the upgrade so this is the documentation from Hortonworks so you can visit uh, this and uh, read so I will be adding this in the description link so before doing the upgrade so these are the steps we need to do so check the prerequisites so we need to uh, understand what are the prerequisites we need to fulfill before doing an upgrade process so that comes like uh, checking all the configurations and make sure all the services are proper and before upgrading then we need to take the backup of all the databases especially the metadata for uh, HTTP components and then we have to register and install then upgrade and finalize so these are the steps we are going to do that and I request you to read this documentation and understand the compatibility metrics so also make sure okay your current version of uh, Ambari as well as HTTP is in support with this upgrade process so I'm using HTTP 2.5.30 here and this is a single node instance and I'm going to upgrade it to the latest HTTP version. So the first thing uh, I need to make sure all my services are proper and there is no uh, alerts or any, any uh, error related to my service. So make sure all the services are up and running also we can we have to do a service check before doing this upgrade so to do that so select each and every service click here and run a service check do this for all the components in your cluster for yarn then run the service check and uh, for MapReduce to do the same so repeat this for all the com so for MapReduce then uh, for Zookeeper and then uh, Ambari metrics and uh, smart sense so this should work without any error so if it is uh, throwing some error so you need to work on that and uh, rectify it before proceeding this upgrade so we will have to wait uh, till this service check operation completes so now the service check went uh, fine without any issues then now go to the uh, admin console then stack and version so here you will have the options like versions right upgrade history stack version and upgrade history so go to the version tab then manage version so you are getting a warning message like so this will uh, you will be reaching to another page yes click ok right so here you have to register the new version so you can see the currently installed version so this is the current version and it's installed 2.6.1 then you have you can register for the latest version so you can see that here and if you are using the local or public repository you can choose so here I am selecting public repository and uh, I can remove everything except I mean uh, and keep only the one which is matching with my operating system so I don't want this so this is my operating system I kept it here and then save okay so once it is saved you can see one more version here under 2.6 2.6.4 then click here and install on my cluster then so this start installing the packages okay here you, you will get another options like current and install option so select this 
then install so you are about to install then ok fine so I'm installing this package so again it take some time so now the installation has completed so next is uh, we will uh, go ahead with the upgrade process this upgrade so you have two options rolling upgrade and express update so rolling up upgrade you can do while the system is in uh, running and uh, there is no outage is required but it's very very slow but express upgrade require a restarting of services and under service check uh, you can you have to make sure all the service checks uh, when well but here I can see uh, one option like auto start disable check so auto start must be disabled before pe performing an upgrade so this is one of the prerequisites uh, for upgrade so so we'll have to do uh, disable this auto auto service auto start so go to the admin console then service auto start and then uh, we can disable it and save it here so service auto start is nothing but like if you restart the cluster so all the services should be up if it is enabled and test turn on all the services like disable means so if you restart the entire cluster so all the services won't be up and running by default so I did that again go back to the stacks and version then go to the version then do this upgrade so for a express upgrade so I have almost everything for a rolling upgrade so two warnings are showing and we'll see what are those okay so these are the two things but I'm not doing this rolling upgrade at this time so let me do this ex express upgrade so which is relatively faster so select that express upgrade then proceed so now you can see uh, the upgrade process is in progress so it's showing the status here so how much percentage is completed and what is remaining etc so also make sure you have taken proper backup of all your metadata say for example hive metadata mysql uh, uh, or uh, oc and whatever the database or metadata you are using you have to take on the proper backup so also if you have any important data in hdfs so that data also has to be uh, taken and uh, kept it in a separate backup location so you can see the status it, it's reached around 87 percentage now okay to finalize this upgrade so you have to accept this so I have performed this manual step okay so your cluster version has upgraded so click the finalize when you are ready to uh, finalize the upgrade uh, but we can do certain test and finalize later we can do that or if you have op if you don't want to upgrade then downgrade option is also there so in production environment and all so you can test the features before finalizing so once it's finalized you cannot go back but I'm okay with this uh, 2.6.4 at this time and I'm finalizing this at this time so that's it it reached 100 percentage So upgrade has completed that's it so now you can see your current version is 2.6.4 and uh, uh, in upgrade history you can see that okay so what are the previous version you have wh what is upgrade you have done and all those details so this is the version so and these are the different components you have upgraded and uh, what, what is the time and all the other details you can uh, get from here so and again from the stacks and version so you can see the latest version the version which we have installed is 2.6.4
2.6.4 so that's about upgrade process but before upgrading I recommend you to uh, go to the docs.hortonworks.com and Hortonworks documentation and read all upgrade related known issues and other prerequisites and do all the prerequisites and prepare uh, the environment before doing this upgrade I hope you like the content and if you have any questions so please add that in the comment box so I will try to answer that also if you have not subscribed to my channel so please do subscribe I will be adding lot more contents over time thank you bye